Ha? Pardon? What's up? I'm looking for David. Looking for David? Yeah. Uh, David might be in this place there. Yeah? Okay. <coughs> huh? That's his car there. Okay. Thanks, guys. Fucking, fucking, oh yeah, I'm back again. I'm fucking back on YouTube. You're watching, you're watching a new, I'm a fucking new man. I'm a fucking, I'm a fucking, I got my mojo back. Well, not really, but I, you know what? I just needed a rest. Sometimes you just have to say to yourself, you know what? I need a rest. I'm looking down on my phone. I, I've only got nine minutes of recording. <laughs> I've only got a fucking two gigabyte memory card in this fucking GoPro because you have to fucking format your Go, you have to format your um, memory cards every time you use it in this fucking stupid thing or it just goes bonkers. So this is a different memory card and I had to format it, but it's only, I couldn't be bothered taking the one out of my phone. I've only got three memory cards. Don't, now I've wasted a lot of time telling you about fucking memory cards. All right, so today I'm feeling fucking good. I'm feeling really good. It's a fucking beautiful day. I didn't do anything today. I just let it ride. You know what? I think I'm I'm like bipolar. Because sometimes I just get really down. And then other times I'm just like, fuck. Like now I'm just like, Bleh! So yeah, I don't know. My phone's vibrating on my balls. My other phone's fucking making funny. This camera always stops. It gives me the shits. Okay, now I'm going crazy. I'm all over the place. All right. So, so the camera just stopped. So I just restarted the camera. Now I'm starting to get a bit fucking frustrated. Anyway, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great. I'm back into it. Tomorrow, I'm probably going to keep doing the daily videos. I love doing them. And, you know, I just needed a rest. I just needed a bit of a rest. I'm back again, babbling into the camera. My GoPro just shit itself. So... Fuck the fucking GoPro. I'm actually kind of pissed off now. Nah, I'm not that pissed off. Let's, I don't know. What, what do I want to talk about today? Um, you know what? I am kind of pissed off. That's a no through road. I'm on, I'm on the way to pick up my wife. And I want to make a quick video. I'm like, you know what? I want to make a quick video in the car on the way to pick up my wife and just get the video out of the way for today, you know? And everything just fucks up. And I'm feeling good as well. And it's like, you know, it's like, as soon as you feel good, something just comes around and just fucking sticks a big donger up your bum hole. Anyway, today, like I said, okay, so what's been happening? Been feeling good, nothing else has been happening. That guy who ripped us off on the Airbnb, which I talked about, which I talk about way too much. I rang him today, and after a lot of screaming and yelling, he, Hang on, let me close this window. Jesus Christ! What the fuck's going on? After a lot of fucking screaming and yelling, mostly done by me, actually all done by me, <laughs> he decided to give us, he decided now he's going to give us the money back. He said if we take down the review of, the bad review of his place, he's going to give us the money. And I said no. I said, we're not going to do that, but I won't put another bad review and I won't come to your house and I won't um, fucking expose you on Facebook and YouTube if you just give us our money back tonight. And so he agreed to do it <laughs> if I promise not to expose him, which I'm not going to. If he gives me some money back, if he gives the money back, I'm not going to expose him. So that's cool. We're getting the money back on that. And yeah. So, what else? Well, yeah, I had a conversation today. Um, a friend of mine, a Facebook friend of mine, texted me. Um, 
and she's a vegan and she wants to start YouTube and she just got a new phone to record her YouTubes on she's just starting out and she was telling me how nervous she was and when she turned on the camera she just can't think of things to say you know what I mean like she turns on the camera and she just starts babbling and just feels stupid and I was like, well, everyone, you know, everyone feels that way. And I still feel that way, even though I've got a hundred odd videos on my channel. Do you know what I mean? And I felt like I could feel like what she was going through because I felt this, I desperately wanted to make videos. I def desperately wanted to, you know, just tell people my story and, you know, just, I don't know, just make videos on YouTube, just get myself out there. And I knew what it was like to, to do a video and then delete that video and then do another video, delete that video and just like delete, delete a video like 10 times before you can say, well, that's, this is the one I'm going to post. And then it just made me think like how much I've progressed into now. I just don't really fucking care. Well, I care about the quality of my videos and that's why I use um, better software now and I use the microphone now. And I got, you know, I got the GoPro. So I care about the quality of my videos, but I just don't really care so much about what people think of me. Because, you know, you don't really get that much hate, to be honest. And like the other guys I watch, well, the smaller YouTubers, they're doing good stuff and they're not getting any hate either. I think it's just when you get like millions of subscribers, you know, people feel like you're, you know, part of just, you know, shit you kick around or whatever. You know, you're just like a, you're, you're fair game. Do you know what I mean? I don't know how to explain it, but yeah. Or if you really just, um, you know, like, like, whoa. okay, now I don't know what I'm saying. You know, if you're really out there with your views and you're hardcore about, like, you know, okay, fuck it, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just saying that you don't really get that much hate and it's really not as scary as you think it is. But when you start, man, I know, I know that feeling. It's scary, it's intimidating. Yeah, like even my first like fucking, I think like 50 video, no more than that. Probably the first, only my last fucking 20 or so videos have I really just thought, ah, oh, fuck it, who cares? I'm just gonna totally put myself out there. So yeah, it does take a while. Maybe it takes longer for, maybe it takes longer for others than some, you know? Like maybe it took longer for me and others just don't give a shit. And they just naturally like, you know, don't, don't care about what people think of them. But I'm, I'm, I'm very self-conscious. I've got a lot of anxiety. So yeah, it took me a long time. So I know how it feels. And if you're watching this and you're a new YouTuber, I'm relatively a new YouTuber as well, but you know, I have got like a hundred or so videos, 170, I think, videos now. I think there's nearly 200 videos, but not all of them are public. So, yeah, but so I've done, I've done like 200 videos. So that takes a long time and you do get a little bit of experience doing that. So you just gotta keep going. If you're watching this and you're a new YouTuber, this is my message to you. Don't fucking give up, man. Just keep going, just keep pumping out content. If the video is shit, the video is shit. Don't delete it or anything stupid like that. Just make sure next time, you know, you, you might make a better video. If you make a fucking shit video again, then just keep fucking doing it. Just keep making shit videos until you start making good videos. And people will start to like your shit. And they'll start to watch your shit. Shit. <laughs> well, not if it's shit, but they'll start to watch your videos. And yeah you just gain the confidence over time. Just don't give up, man, don't give up. I remember so many times on my YouTube, I gave up for months and months at a time and it never grew, my YouTube never grew. And you know, I'm still, I'm not like rolling in subscribers or anything or rolling in views, but I'm happy where I'm at. And to get that level where you're happy where you're at, you have to put, you have to put a lot of work into it and it's not easy. It's fun, but it's not easy and yeah. You know, just keep going, brothers and sisters. Keep it up. And um, yeah, that's that's the end of the video. I'm nearly at my wife's work. This this has been like a frantic video. So I can't, I'm getting so hot in this car. There's no aircon. 
I can't put the aircon on because I don't want you to hear the fucking whoosh, whoosh, whoosh noise. I'm fucking, I'm getting sweaty. This is so crazy, man. I'm crazy. I should have went for a ride today. I was going to go for a ride today and tape it and, uh, and record it, show you guys. But, yeah, I don't know. I just fucking, Saturday, but Saturday I'm going to go for a ride. I'm not going to promise anything anymore because fucking, I never seem to be able to do what I say, but... Saturday, I'm going to try to go for a ride. I'm going to videotape it. Try and do like a big ride. Well, you know, I'm going to try and do like 60, 70 Ks, which is, which is going to be big for me since I haven't, I haven't done more than like 20 Ks in the last fucking couple of months. So my longest ever ride was only 100 kilometers. So 70 is a big ride. Yeah, I might have to put my clipless pedals on and wear my fucking um, padded pants for that one. Get my bike all cleaned up and fucking do some maintenance on it or whatever. Anyway, now I'm fucking talking shit. Anyway, I'm back again. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to your mum, to your dad. Fucking don't have sex with random people on the street. And fucking I'll see you later.